Yes, back to you. I don't want your father to know what is going on between us. In fact, he doesn't know that I'm in London. Uh, <laughs> this is like Alex. This Yes, I'm We've got a message for you, all the way from Africa, from Chief Oscar. Oscar! My number one enemy for entire Africa, in Nigeria. I thought you were in Nigeria, why are you in London? You will soon find out when you get to hell. Don't kill me, Oscar. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, Oscar. <laughs> You said you like to go to Africa, right? Yes. Uh, it's all right. Um, I have business partners and contemporaries who will be very anxious to see you. So I guess uh, you'll enjoy your stay there. No doubt about it. Oh, wow. Oh. I feel like I'm the daughter of a king. Yeah, of course you're the daughter of a king. <laughs> um, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. You'll go to the place, have a wonderful time. Then I'll come down there and I'll pick you up and we'll come back to Europe. You see, um, there are some individuals who are interested in politics mm -hmm. and I want to sponsor them. Mm -hmm. I'll go there and see how well they are doing, then we'll come back together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Oh, no, wait a minute. Why don't we just go there together? Oh, no. I'm really excited about this time, so I just want to go, please. It's all right. I'm going out. Um, I will make the travel arrangements for you and um, you can go as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. You're the best dad. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Um, now, let's wait. I hope I'm going to meet you here when I come around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be here. I'm going anyway. Alright. Bye, dad. Alright.
Briggs here. Please wait for Mr. Mercer. Briggs. Sir. What do you have on the front lines? We are still holding on, sir. You report to Jimmy, you are doing fine. Thank you, sir. My daughter Alexandra will be coming into the country. This will be her first visit to Nigeria. She's on a 60-day vacation. Will be our new relation in a period of stay. When do I expect her, sir? Tomorrow, 2 p.m. On a landing day. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Most American half cast are little less than angels in heaven, you know. Good for her. You might find her attractive. And? And you could marry her, you know. <laughs> oh, women are dreams. It's no dreams. I mean, it would be a great thing to be a son in law to one of the great and most special professional in the world. To be a son-in-law to a, a man like Mason is to be on the throne with chains on. Miss Briggs, Miss Gina, can I get your hand?
out your hotel. We don't know what you would prefer, but no, whatever. Just contact me, I'll be at the service. Alex is in town. Alex? Yeah. Who is Alex? Uh, that's uh, Chief Mercer's daughter. Oh, really? Yes. That's a good news. I've been trying to uh, get in touch with the chief for, you know, assistant uh, for one uh, Actually, she's here all alone this time around. But the old man didn't come with her. How did you know about it? I tell you how close I was for her. She called me to tell me she's in town. Really? She did? Is there something you're not telling me? Not at all, except that we have businesses who run together. And uh, I use her to have an easy access to the chief. Hmm. Well, lots of my overtures through the chief have come through, so why not? <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> Boy.
Hello. Um, good evening, Sanj. Yes, we're here to see Alex Mercy. And uh, who would I say is looking for her? Chief Dandy, of course. She's done his hair for you now. Alright. Room 1 to 2. Thank you. I give it to you. Are you sure? The very way you want. Are you sure you can More handle this? Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. You want it? Mm -hmm. You ready? We are not allowed to go into the privacy. Oh, don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know, Chief? What is that supposed to mean? Dandy boys. Yes. You know your boys and my boss is not in good condition. That's why you cannot. You shut up your mouth! How dare you call my boss name like that? Is he your mate? Your man? Busy. Busy? Yeah, busy taking care of business. And when am I going to get my money, Dandy? <laughs> You're very funny. Dandy, I'm serious. You owe me money. And, um, you want your money? You're serious? How much? You owe me a million bucks, Dandy. I see. I hope you know that this is Nigeria. And I call the shots here. Well, this is my fatherland as well. Just remember that. Yes, I know. I'd like to thank you for giving me a welcome treat. I'll give you a call. All right? All the best. Bye-bye.
this down. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm used to all I can to get that contract in Abuja. In fact, I have uh, solicited um, Chief Nurse's assistance. I mean, the Godfather himself. And he assured me he would do something about it. Well, I'm glad you have done that. I'm Chief Mason, world's lot of influence, both within and outside Asal of Villa. And once he says yes, he cannot go back on that. Mm. So, you're, mm. you're in good stead. Come, I learned from the grapevine you are having affairs with his half caste daughter. <laughs> <laughs> if the chief finds out, you'll fry for it. <laughs> um, come to think of it, how did you manage to meet her? The lady in question is as generous as a father, mm. and every man would want to go for her. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's quite an expensive lady though. Oh really? Yeah, but I don't mind the, the, the amount I'm spending on her because I'm, she's worth it. Hmm. And if you want to ask me how I got to know her, it was through my friend Oscar. Did one of my numerous trips abroad. You know, he did introduce her to me and ever since then she's been quite a lovely child. Really? He did. <laughs> This is supposed to be a discreet affair. How come you know about it? I have my ears to the ground. And by the way, you're playing with a lion's cup. Beware. Tell you something. I have a way of taming the lion. Oh, Chief of Oh, my God. You can't. Oh, my God. You can't. You can't. You can't beat me to my head. This man with a mail, and all we had was this explosion. I told you. Meanwhile, move him out of the scene. I, think I told you. I told you this man after my life. What this? I don't know. I don't know. For heaven's sake, what I've done to them? I don't know. Why on earth would they want to attack me and kill me? What have I done? You know who I am. I'm a decent human being. Do I deserve all this? You can see it for yourself now. Eh? You can. Hello. Who is this? What is all this drama all about, if I may ask? Eh? You want to kill me or what? Do you want to kill me or what? I mean, these allegations are baseless. You know I can't do such a thing. You know, Marcel or whatever you are called, I can't do such a thing. He's cut off. Who is he? One of my enemies. Okay. <laughs> Right. Hold him! Hold him! Hold him! Hold him down! Wait! Put him down there! I, I don't, 
I talked about security loss in this house. I'm just a man. I don't have a man for Mr. Dandy. Quiet. You have a man for Mr. Dandy. Yes, sir. Allow him to get up. Get up. Open the envelope, I mean. No, I can't open it. I said open it. Open it. Hold it there, hold it there. Don't abide you on that line. You are watching him. Are you sure that is an order to take? Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay. Click on again. Let me see, let me see. Yes, this is a VHS there. VHS? Yes, yes. Let me recap this. Careful as this. They don't know who is Marcel. And who they take. Okay. Um, hello? Hello, yes? Yes? How are you? Yes, I'm right at home. And uh, I just uh, received a message uh, from your neighbor. So how's it going? I hope all is fine, okay? Uh, I'll see you later in the afternoon. Very well. You sure you can handle this? Huh? That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want it? Mm -hmm. Really? Thank you. Thank you. Um, you want a million? Serious? How much? You owe me a million bucks, Dandy. I see. I hope you know that this is Nigeria. And I call the shots here. Well, this is my fatherland as well. Just remember that. Yes, I know. I'd like to thank you for giving me a welcome treat. I'll give you a call. All right? All the best. Bye-bye. Take her home. Yes, sir. 
Take her to Mama. Come back fast. Alright, no mistakes. You have it. Just put them in. That's the address with which you locate the place. You cannot leave. Mr. Alexandra, please. No, no, I have money if you want. I can give you money. Shut up your mouth and tell me where is Alex. Oh, I'm sorry she checked out two days ago. What? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Did she leave a forwarding address? I'm afraid not. No, Do no, you no. mean by that? Tell me where is Alex. I'm alone here. She I'm was supposed to be in this room. She's in this room. I'm alone. You can check my bill if you want. Don't fuck with me!
come and take this to your pain. Relax. It's all okay. good. Okay. Just try to I'll take it. Okay. Is Mr. Mason called yet? Not yet, sir. I have to go. Any dog? Nope. I'll search everywhere. I can't find her. What well, let's go she be? Where? I don't know. I just hope I find out before her father calls. I hate the mass calls. Who does it? If it's if it's him, just tell him about it. Go on, be here. Yeah, hello, Crystal International. May I help you, please? Hold on. Very soon. Hey, what's going on, man? Okay, 
your final set, I should, you know, look after you. Make sure you stay out of trouble. But you are looking after me. Am I? Yeah. You stay out of trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure if I'm so supposed to be doing this. What, what am I supposed to? Are you, are you sure about this? I'm sure. Hmm? Of course I'm sure. everything but beautiful. <laughs> now you are completely transformed. You, you, you absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you, Rex. It's very sweet of you. Mm. Mm. So, now, really, okay? What? Really. Mm. Briggs, I was just tired of being monitored, that's all. Who's monitoring you? My father, of course. Well, that's because... Uh, well, that's because he loves you. <sighs> My father doesn't even know me. He doesn't know half of me, man. Okay. But another thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what to make of this, you know, this, this. <laughs> Briggs, you're way in over your head. I am? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. The last thing. Who owns this place? I'll tell you in a minute. First, let me go drain the lizard. I'll be back. I'm just gonna dress up myself. Beautiful. I mean, I can see clearly now. It's a really lovely house. I told you, Briggs. I bought the place. <laughs> Why? Because I want my own house. <laughs> Your father owns like half of the city. Besides, it must have cost you a fortune. <laughs> How did you get the money? That's where you come in. Where I come in? Mm-hmm. How? I thought you'd say that. Let me tell you a story. Half of this house mm -hmm. has been paid for. Yeah. The other half, four million naira, mm -hmm. you're going to pay for from daddy's business account. Okay. I don't understand. <laughs> if you don't, Briggs, I call Daddy and I tell him about a little affair we just had. And you know what that means, don't you? <sighs> I will tell him I didn't, I didn't touch you. I mean, I, 
In other words, you. Oh, come on, Alex. You, are you blackmailing me? Mine? Right? Well, listen to this. You get paid for laying his daughter, and you spend his money. So you've got nothing to worry about. It's your boot against mine. <laughs> Last night and this morning we didn't... Ah! Briggs, stop acting like a little boy. You recorded us last night? Pay up, Briggs, and grow up on your way out. Bye-bye. I'm not going to let you get away with this. I won't let you. Bitch! Yes, Jenna. Okay, I'll take it. Alex, what do you want? Stop acting like a baby Briggs. Alex, I said what do you want? Have you paid my money into my bank account? Yes, I have. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Hello? 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 Gina, come. Can't talk on the phone, and you know that. I'm sorry, I can't make it. I'm busy. <laughs> As if you have a choice, you will see me tonight at nine. Goodbye. said you can go. I will see you later. Okay, sir.
You are wrong with me. You're killing me. I'm not killing you. Yes, you are. You're blackmailing me. You're making me do stuff that I never dreamt of doing. I'm stealing money from your father's company, buying houses. You're doing that to me. Cooking the books. Breaking to your life. That's easy for you to say. Or what can I play next, Jack? It's our boy. Well, my name is Briggs. I'm not Jack. Jack Briggs? What does it matter? Hmm? You're still dumb. Come on, Briggs. No. No. Come on, Briggs. No. Come on. The first time was a mistake. You should be boss's daughter. I'm your boss now, Briggs. So you better get used to it. Come on. That's a good way to help. I yes, don't want it. Do.
businesswoman, okay? And when I do business, I expect to get paid on time. If not, then I guess I'm just going to have to call Interpol and tell them about your little rival that died in London. Alex, I thought we'd worked out all this long time ago. <laughs> No, 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 no. I was, um, let's just say that I was a little naive then. It's true what they say. Black Miller's always return. <laughs> now you know. Kevin! I told you never to cut my office. What do you want? My mom, she's... She's in the hospital. So bloody what? Dad, they need some money. She's suffering from internal bleeding after the fight. Listen to me, boy. I don't want you to ever visit that woman again. Do you hear what I'm saying? You understand? She got what she bargained for. You understand? Now get out of my office. Get out. Dad, my mom, she's in the hospital. And I say, get the hell out of my office or I get the boss to throw you out. See, you're such a disobedient boy. I see your mother planted this rebellious spirit in you. Get out of my office. Get out. Get out of my office. I said, get out of my office. Volcano, why don't you wait? Who's that? Naughty, 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 double chief. No need to threaten your boy now. I shut the fuck up. <laughs> he's only worried. Own he's only worried about his mother. I can handle my problems. You understand? Sure. So you thank can. you. Well, then you need to handle me, Chief, and pay me money. Remember, Chief, when you do business with me, you pay up. So where's my money? Listen, Alex. I'm your best friend. All the supplies you need, I'll give you. Why do you want to break your relationship like this? You know, and I will always do that for you. And you know how much I loved you. I still love you, baby. And I'll give you all the stuff you need. I'm your best friend. Come on, why do you want to do this to me? First of all, Chief, I don't have any friends, okay? And secondly, I can get my stuff anywhere. Just remember one thing. You do business with me, you pay up. So remember one thing. I'll be waiting. Love you, boy. Oh, remember one thing. I'm waiting. Alex. Alex Mason. Kelvin. Is it true about your mother? Yes. How much will it cost for the treatment? Um, it's 
20,000 there. Mm -hmm. Oh well. It's 50. Take it. Come on now, take it. You need it. Take it. Want me to? Yes, I want you to take it. Thanks. Just remember, don't tell your dad about this, okay? How do I get in touch with you? <laughs> Jake. Jake. No, 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 no. Pay me back. Let's not go there, boy. Are you... Are you my father's girlfriend? <laughs> Let's just say that we're business partners. I will tell you about your father. Your father, Calvin, is a bad, bad man. Hmm. Stay away from him, because I'm not a good girl either. But take care of yourself. Stay in school and look after your family, okay? If you need me, use that. And you only call if you really need something. Don't mess with me, Calvin. Thanks very much. Pleasure. close watch on this one because you know she, she's wild and, and, and her sense of adventure is incredible I, I just want to deliver her back to her father in one piece
going to get into even more deep trouble than what you know already. Why are you doing this? Why? Oh, you expect me to cry and why do you want to kill me don't be so fast? Don't insult me, okay? You don't deserve my entertainment. And besides, you owe me money. So you've got 24 hours to pay up. And if you don't, Buzz, girls, buzz! Go! Girls, please leave it. I say you should leave. Oh, my God. Having a little bit of party, are you, Yeah, it's 
it's, it's, a, it's a weekend, what have you spent? I'm very well, thank you. You owe me money, Dandy. <laughs> Your message is very clear. Blackmail. Simply blackmail. Call it what you want, Dandy. If you don't pay up, Daddy gets a little tape from me. I'm afraid it's a dirty and deadly curse you're trading on. <laughs> you got 48 hours, Dandy. If you don't pay up, Daddy gets a little tape. And you know what that means, don't you? Take to your heels, we Hello? Yeah, baby girl. Oscar! You're wasting my time, and I want my money. I don't understand what you're getting at. But whatever it is, you must put an end to it. Oh, come on, Oscar. Remember Franco Bonaya? But what about him? <laughs> Well, I've been in Nigeria quite a bit, and um, I've heard quite a lot about him. He's a big man, you know. He's got a good reputation. And we both know what happened to him, don't we? Listen, baby girl. That is a closed deal. Oh, come on, Oscar. Remember London? Ah. Well, anyway, you tricked me into that, and I'm not dumb. You know what I want. Hey. You want this stuff and I supply this stuff. So what are you talking about? Five million. It's as simple as that. You give me, I'll keep my mouth shut, and Interpol doesn't find out. That is crazy. That is crazy. You got a choice. Baby girl, I think you are tired. You know, you're tired. You should take some rest. Go to bed. I don't care, Oscar. Pay up. Interpol gets a call from me, okay? Back so soon, I wasn't expecting this. This is 
blackmail. <laughs> Call it whatever you want, Oscar. Get me my money. You got paid for a job. Now I'm just filling in the blank spaces. Yeah, you got this stuff. And I'll give you all the stuff you need. Oscar, get me my money, okay? So where do I get that kind of money? This place is bad. I don't care. Get me the money or I turn you over to Interpol. Goodbye. Thank you for the help. My mother appreciates it. How's your mom? She's fine. I would like to see you if you don't mind. Is there a problem? No. It's something to do with the advice you gave to me. Oh. Okay. Well, meet me at Dumi's place then. No. I'd rather come to your house. See, I need your undivided attention. I need your advice, please. Okay. Come over, but don't tell where anyone where my house is, okay? It's discreet. I'm grateful. Okay, bye bye. belongs to you. Mm -hmm. You seem to be quite rich for a young lady like you. So, how did you achieve all this, considering the fact that you just came into the country for no less than six months ago, or did your dad give it to you? Come and sit down. My dad thinks that this sweet, innocent, young little girl can only survive on 10,000 naira a month. So, how were you able to achieve all this? <laughs> Let's just say that I'm a businesswoman. A shrewd one at that. And I know how to trade. But anyway, look, you're not here to talk about me. What's up? It's about my dad. You know my mom packed out of the family house after several attempts by some gunmen to kill my father. Sometimes police barge into the house searching for one thing or the other. And the house has become very, very unsafe. I 
need a friend. I need a friend I can confine in. My family is disabilized and my mom cries all day. Calvin, there are three things you need to dominate, okay? Sex, woman, and money. Many men have fallen victim to this, and your father is one of them. Once you're in, Calvin, there's no getting out. I want you to know that. Don't get involved in this. I'm not proud of what I do, but some evil men got me involved in this. And now, I'm getting my own back. I'm taking care of me. Your mother was right, Calvin. Your father is scum. He is. She did the right thing by leaving him. And you should listen to her. Okay? I've got something for you. Four hundred thousand. All for me. Calvin, don't get greedy. It's not only for you, okay? Look, it's for all of you. It's for you, for your mom, for your, for your whole family. Alright? Let her open a business or something and so she can look after you guys. But Calvin, listen. You only come to me if you really need help, okay? I will never forget this. It's fine. I would appreciate it if you can tell me some more thing about my father's activities. <clears throat> you don't even want to know half of it. So how can I avoid the same lifestyle if I am naive? I want to thank you for the help. My mother appreciates it. How's your mom? She's fine. I would like to see you if you don't mind. Is there a problem? No. It's something to do with the advice you gave to me. Oh. Okay. Well, meet me at Dumi's place then. No. I'd rather come to your house. See, I need your undivided attention. I need your advice, please. Okay. Come over, but don't tell where anyone where my house is, okay? It's discreet. I'm grateful. Bye bye. All right.
You seem to be quite rich for a young lady like you. So, how did you achieve all this, considering the fact that you just came to the country for no less than six months ago? Or did your dad give it to you? Come and sit down. My dad thinks that your sweet, innocent, young little girl can only survive on 10,000 naira a month. So, how were you able to achieve all this? <laughs> Let's just say that I'm a businesswoman, a shrewd one at that. And I know how to trade. But anyway, look, you're not here to talk about me. What's up? It's about my dad. You know my mom packed out of the family house after several attempts by some gunmen to kill my father. Sometimes police barge into the house searching for one thing or the other. And the house has become very, very unsafe. I need a friend I can confine in. My family is disabilized and my mom cries all day. Calvin, there are three things you need to dominate, okay? Sex, woman, and money. have fallen victim to this. And your father is one of them. Once you're in Calvin, there's no getting out. I want you to know that. Don't get involved in this. I'm not proud of what I do. But some evil men got me involved in this. And now, I'm getting my own back. I'm taking care of me. Your mother was right, Calvin. Your father is scum. He is. She did the right thing by leaving him. And you should listen to her. Okay? I've got something for you. Four hundred thousand. All for me. Calvin, don't get greedy. It's not only for you, okay? Look, it's for all of you. It's for you, for your mom, for you, for your whole family. Alright? Let her open a business or something and so she can look after you guys. But Calvin, listen. You only come to me if you really need help. Forget this. It's fine. I would appreciate it if you can tell me some more thing about my father's activities. <clears throat> you don't even want to know about it. So how can I avoid the same lifestyle if I am naive?
Side department. I'm Inspector Bandele, my partner, Sergeant Springer. Um, please. Super. No, no, that won't be necessary. Uh, we want you to come and identify the body of a young lady. We suspect is Miss Alexandra Mason. Alexandra? Yes, Alexandra. She was murdered last night. That is exactly what we want you to confirm. You have to come with us right away, sir. Yes.
sorry about the terrible thing that happened to your daughter. I mean, such an innocent girl. I don't really know what could have motivated who committed this terrible crime against us. I'm terribly sorry. But I assure you, I and my boys will ensure that whoever did it will bring them the book. We're going to do it. Okay, Chief. I promise, Robert. Actually, it was not my intention coming out here now. I had projected I'll be coming in next week to conclude arrangements for your political campaigns. As you know, I promised I was going to make you a governor. Well, this is the way things have planned out. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Sorry. I thank right. you for your sympathy. All right, so, uh, we'll do our best. We'll do our best. You know, it's terrible the way people do things in this country. What could have motivated that kind of attack? So tell us you know, about you, you know. I don't know. It's 
So just be careful. Very decent girl. Very morally upright. She never allowed men to distract her at all. <coughs> she. You're right, sir. She was always concentrated on her studies. Yes. Very intelligent girl. Did you spend a little time with your daughter, sir? Yes. I mean, she would leave in the morning for the library. She wouldn't come back until night. She was very studious, that girl. Very intelligent. Well, we are getting there uh, at your daughter's skill. In no distant time, you will come up with a result. All right, officer, I, I appreciate what you're doing, but you will find this assignment very difficult. Don't hesitate to let me know no, so I can no. contact the commissioner. Oh, there will be no need for that, sir. Mr. Briggs, you said you dropped her off at the hotel. Yes, I did. Did you in any way make efforts to see her during her period of stay at the hotel? No, I didn't. But the management of the hotel told us that you came looking for her after she had left the hotel. Yes, that was after she had left the hotel. In other words, you knew she was not there. No, no, I didn't know she wasn't there. I, 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 I decided to go check on her after a while to see how she was faring and I discovered she had moved out. No doubt to where? To where? Well, she, she bought an apartment in Okonali Complex. What are you saying? Alex bought an apartment in Okonali Complex. 
My daughter. All right. Who is there now? I don't think there's anybody there. Officer, I want to go and see the place right away. Yeah, we'll take you right away. suggest you never knew your daughter. I'm beginning to feel that you're right. I mean, Mr. Maskini, how did she get the money to buy all this? How did she get the money to purchase this apartment? I, I thought you gave, gave her the I mean, how could I? You know I always give her some little allowance. I mean, how could... No, no, what, what, what? Where is the security man who takes the charge of this place? Where is he? Well, uh, Chief, he's in detention, sir, and we are still questioning him. Have he said anything yet? Chief, he said a lot. And I assure you, in no distant time, we'll make an arrest. Briggs. Sir. Under your very nose, Alex purchased all these, and you couldn't tell me. Sir. I found out late, and, and by the time I found out, you were already here, sir. You found out late, and you couldn't tell me. And this is a girl I placed under your care. I, I didn't know, sir. I, I... Mr. Briggs. We have much to talk about. Sergeant, so how about yesterday? Because I didn't release that suspect. Oh, we're still in process. Okay, I'll see you later. Thank you. Come in, officer. Oh, bring her. He was here. Sure, sir. 
I'm here. Of course. Sir, I believe Mr. Briggs is still hiding something from us. There is something hidden he doesn't want to tell us. I don't think so. Why? Alex has her neck deep into a serious problem with other people, not only with Briggs. You think so? I have that strong feeling, sir. But sir, Mr. Briggs seems to have had a close relationship with Miss Minson. What made me to believe that is that his reactions and emotions echoes it. Yes, he wouldn't tell. That is why he still remains our main prime suspect. <laughs> Mr. Briggs seems to be afraid, you know. He's afraid to tell the truth because he knows that if he does, he will be taken in. Absolutely, I'll be the first person to drag him in. So, let me say we'll pay him a visit again. This time around, right in his house. I'll probably meet him in the bar. Bega, I see it as an open and close case. It's good. Let me say, we wish ourselves good luck. I wish ourselves good luck. Well, yes, sir. Uh, thank you. How about you? Yeah. Come to take of it. I have an idea. Come with me. That's it. Because I have here, they don't match. Please. <laughs> I can't be paying this much for satellite link up. If you don't agree, I go to the competition. Either way, you lose, and I win in both ways. 15% discount and nothing less. Excuse me, sir. Do we have a deal? And thank you very much. Sir, the policemen are here. Can you want to see them? Two of them. Mm -hmm. chat with you. We are hoping you'll be able to give us some information that will assist us in our investigation. What kind of information would that be? Just tell us a little you know about Miss Mason. I don't really know much about her except that she's my boss's daughter, that's all. I mean your period of stay with her. What can you really tell us about her? I didn't even have a chance to stay with her. I said, the fella called as she was coming, I went to the airport, picked her up, checked her to our hotel, and that was it. And you never had any contact with her after then? No, sir. You said you dropped her in the hotel. And yes. what was she doing in a guest house? How am I supposed to know that? I'm not a babysitter. From what you told us proves you are. And what exactly is your point, sir? Just want to know, did, did she... Mention any of her friends to you, or probably gives you any name. No! Would you for sure know if she had any lover? No! Mr. Briggs, you seem to be telling us the truth. Because we know you had dinner with her twice at Benny Restaurant and driving off in her company! That you didn't mention to us. Why? Because I forgot. That's why. I am not supposed to remember everything. Mr. Briggs, can we have an international password? Please. Why? Precautionary measure. Just to make sure you don't leave town while we're still investigating. Do you have a warrant for that? Sir? If you want a warrant, I'll get you a warrant, sir. But for now, I want that password, sir. Well, I'm just going to give you the passport, not because you are going to get me a war passport, because... Excuse me. You are 
excuse. Who amongst the four of you killed that girl? None of us did, boss. We arrived there and found her dead. Shut up! Who killed her amongst you? We were on our way to carry out and giving instructions before we found her dead body. And there's something I'm suspecting. It appears we are not the only ones that want her dead. Yes, boss. But for who could get dead, someone else have carried out an exceeding action on her. An exceeding action on her? I think you have a point there. Yes. Yes. What do I care anyway? Good riddance. That serves her right. She's paid a bigger price. This morning we didn't Ah! Briggs, stop acting like a little boy. You recorded us last night? Pay up, Briggs, and grow up on your way out. Bye bye. I'm not gonna let you get away with this. I won't let you. Bitch! Yes, sir. You got it before the police? Yes, sir. Oh, that's brilliant. 
Thank you. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. Can I see? That's it. That's a brilliant job. Thank you. Just hold it. Thank you. Yes. Um, now. Yeah. I like working with guys like you. Yeah. Smart, right. intelligent guys. Hello. Yeah. Old folks. Hey. What is the law doing in a lawless environment? Ah. We we'll meet again, isn't it? As you can see, no guns, no drugs, no holes. Are you sure about that? Are you asking me if I'm sure? Do I look like someone is drunk? Uh, well, just here to ask you a few questions about the death of your little girlfriend. My little girlfriend? Alexandra Mason, to be precise. For heaven's sake, who told you it's my little girlfriend? We heard you had an affair with her. I don't know anything about her death. The boy is accusing you of murder, are you? Perhaps his conscience beats him. Besides, her father is my very good friend, and I could have done anything like that. Her father, your good friend. Like, um, we heard that she frequents your clubs once in a while. Now. Whenever she comes, there's always a strong argument. What was it all about? Nothing. And what was she blackmailing you for? Did you say blackmail? You heard me right. Is it worth dying for? Chairman, I don't understand what you're talking about. He doesn't understand what you're talking about. Then speak to him in the language he can understand. Anyway, if you don't mind, I'm very busy inside. Listen, Mr. Dan. We're here for serious business. We have an information with you. What's get from you? I don't care who you are or who you know. All I know is that I'm getting the information right now. Are you threatening me? It's not a threat. But what? We want an information from you. And I'm getting it now. If it sounds a threat, get it. Mr. Denny, you are under arrest what for the meaning, death what's of the meaning of all this. I said you are under arrest for the death of Miss Alexander Mason. And you have every right to remain silent. For whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. And you have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, the state will provide for you. And what do you have in that envelope? What do you mean? You heard me. What do you have in that envelope? It contains my personal property. May I have it? What? Give it to him quickly. May I have it? Let him have it. Who does that? Mr. can we go quickly? They better get on watch it and find out who is the real culprit. We'll get to know that in the story. Alright, let's go. Can we go, please?
I'm glad you know my various businesses. And one of one of them is not a kill. I have never been arrested or detained or suspected of killing anybody. I never would do that. Besides, you guys have the tape. Why don't you go and watch it? They are not really in the process of letting me off this hook. I have businesses. I have family to take care of. Why this incarceration? Why? Oh, listen, Mr. Daniel. If after watching the tape and you are found guilty, I swear to God, I will roast you!
forgot to go end my pay. You go. Me, I'm sleeping. everything but beautiful. <laughs> now you are completely transformed. You, you, you absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you, Rex. It's very sweet of you. Mm. Mm. So, now, really, okay? What? Really. Tell me, why did you leave the hotel? Mm. Briggs, I was just tired of being monitored, that's all. Who's monitoring you? My father, of course. Well, that's because... Uh, well, it's because he loves you. <sighs> My father doesn't even know me. He doesn't know half of me, man. Okay. But, another thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to make of this, you know, this, this. <laughs> Briggs, you're way in over your head. I am? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Another thing. Who owns this place? I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, yes, you have to call back. Where would he be? He went to see Mr. Mason. M Mason? Yeah, Mr. Mason. Are you sure? I can't stop. If I find a place where I can drop you, I will drop you. 
Exactly. exactly. We're on a chase on a new saloon boat over. The suspect inside the saloon. So I want every back up. We're heading towards a gap. Immediately. Yes, I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay, okay. We are we're, we're on the same route with them. Thank you. No, no, no. So, no, so with them. I told, I told you this guy want to run away. Mr. Bates is down the bridge. It's mistake. I told you. calling area F. We are already in position. The suspect is around this area, zone A. Yeah. 